Hi, and welcome to our Social Security Disability blog. I'm Natalia Joffrey. Um, I'm the director of the Social Security section here at Hill and Ponton. And I'm Shelley Mark. I'm the senior Social Security attorney. So as you all know, we're doing a series on the importance of honesty, earnings, related topics to things that could basically hurt you that you may think Social Security won't find out about. And one of the million dollar questions we get asked all the time is, can I work? And if I work and I don't pay into Social Security tax or it's under the table, right. will Social Security find out? Right. And you love handling those at hearing. <laughs> um, that is, you know, it's such a um, dangerous kind of um, risk to take. Obviously, we would tell anyone that um, is working that they need to disclose that to Social Security. Um, but working under the table is still a very dangerous thing to do because there are so many other ways that um, we, you know, that the judges or Social Security can find out about earnings. Um, and one of those ways is medical records. Mm -hmm. We have so many people that go to their doctor and say, I dropped a brick on my hand when I was working the other day. And that's in your records. And so then if you're testifying that you haven't worked, you're going to really run into some credibility issues. Um, and, and one of the other things I see a lot with the self-employment is huge gaps in their earning record. Mm -hmm. The judges will always ask, how did you support yourself during those times? And if they do say, well, I was working, but I just wasn't paying taxes. Once again, I mean, you can see how the judges would think that that may be a credibility issue. Yeah, that's a that's mm -hmm. a pretty big problem because right. they are gonna, they're going to ask you like how do you there has to be a way right. unless you're homeless and you're not eating or you're staying at a homeless facility, it's going to beg the question, how are you supporting yourself? Right. So that makes complete and and total sense. Um, and, and, you know, the other issue that we run into sometimes, we've had a lot of clients that come and say, well, they weren't my earnings. My spouse um, does some work on the side and uses my Social Security number for a number of different reasons. And that doesn't matter. You know, if it's under your Social Security number, it's your, they're your earnings. Yeah. So, and that's, that poses so Huge. many other problems for so many other reasons. Mm -hmm. um, the bottom line is, and the, the one thing, like we've had clients say, you know, of course there's attorney client privilege. So they're like, I'm telling you that I'm working under the table, but I don't right. want you to tell social security. We will not pursue those cases. We will not go to a hearing with that claimant. The reason being as officers of the court, the attorney's the officer of the court and by way of extension, so we are their staff members. They have to uphold that what they're saying is true, we can't go into a hearing and lie. We right. can't lie for you. We can't lie on your behalf. We can't disclose something. So yeah, we're not going to disclose what you're telling us. You want kept confidential, right. but you also have to be honest sure. at a hearing. Right. Um, and so most claimants, and I know that most representatives will not then go to a hearing with that claimant. No. I and then you're going to be out of a rep right, right before a hearing. Right. Exactly. And then the judge is probably going to know why. If, they, if there's yeah. anything on the record. So so follow up, we'll probably talk about earnings with your spouse and perjury yeah. in the next couple of segments. Um, and unfortunately, those things do happen, but we'll talk about those some more. Okay, sounds All right. great. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to visit our website or call our office. Thank you.